Hi, Flosstube. Yeah. <laughs> Talk much, not today. So, hello, Flosstube. How are you? My name is Kiara. I come to you by way of Arkansas, originally from New York. That's my claim to fame. Um, <laughs> I want to, this is episode number 12. Um, I wanted to get a floss tube in before my daughter goes off to college. So, cause I'm trying to edit some more and make it a little bit more polished. So I really wanted to get this done today. Um, and I probably won't get another one done till after my kids are back in school on the 16th. Lots going on here. Um, my daughter leaves on Tuesday to go back to New York. Um, she starts school at the end of the month, but she has to get her house together because she's living off campus. We do meet the teacher on Thursday for my littlest. Um, my kids are all changing schools because we moved when after the school year ended. So just lots going on here. A little bit of a craziness. So I wanted to get this in um, also if I owe you a package, I know I owe you a package. I just haven't had a chance to get to a lot of places, um, spending lots of family time together. And my husband's been working a lot, so things are a little bit crazy. Um, so let's jump right into it, because I got a lot. Because after I finished the last one, I got so much um, in the mail and I, I got on the thing. So I do have, if you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram's below, it's Kiara DVO. And, um, sorry, it's just been one of those days. Um, I do have two finishes. I finished my July um, cross stitch camp project, my Prairie Schooler. I, um, I forgot the pattern in the other room because I didn't bring the Prairie Schooler bag. But there was a border and there was an alphabet here and I actually left it off because I didn't like it and I um I, with how I'm going to finish it I, I didn't think it was necessary don't look so I cannot backstitch to save my life so there are a couple little alterations here um I did change his coat from the cold floor for to ribbon red from classic color works I did not like the um, called for. I found it to be blech. It was not Christmassy enough for me, so I changed it. Um, so do you change colors? I wonder. Um, I know Sherry Colorado Corsetra had a whole thing. Um, somebody commented how changing things means the designer, that's not how the designer intended it, and for the to be and that you were disrespecting was essentially the thing. And I found that to be a crock -a bowl I think personalization is a great thing. Um, and you're stitching for you, so do you. And I have to go comment that on Sherry's um, latest floss tube. I just, if you don't have something kind to say, please keep your mouth shut, seriously. Don't take away from somebody else's joy because you don't agree with it. That's all I'm saying about that. So then I did have another finish. I finally finished, and I forgot the pattern for this. It's sitting on my coffee table. This is from Heartstring Samplery. Um, this is Amazing Grace. This is their Sunday Stitches series. It's my first one that I finished, so I'm very excited. I love this pattern. Now I have to figure out how I'm gonna finish it. I'm probably gonna get finish it on some kind of board and hang it because Amazing Grace is one of my favorite hymns. I've loved it since I saw Silkwood, if you heard me say that. So that, by finishing the, the this Amazing Grace um, and my Prairie Schooler, because my goal was to have a Prairie Schooler done this year on my Whipco board. Um, what do I have to do? I have to, I have to get, finish getting my five days on this for July. And then I have to finish May, this May over here, this Frosted Pumpkin, not Frosted Pumpkin. This is Pumpkin Spice by Cherry Hill Stitchery. Um, and you'll see, I did get some work on it. Um, I actually don't have much more to go on it because I think I'm leaving part of it off. So I'm, I thought I was behind, but because I, I do have to do my five days on Fright Night. 
nah, I'm gonna finish it. It's, it's, I'm invested and it shouldn't be too bad. Um, oh, and I have to finish June, which was Americana Patriotic. And I don't know what I was working on, so I'll have to look that up. So that's that. Um, then let's get into whips. I have a lot of whips. I am part of Semi-Sane Stitchers. And I learned about them from, I believe, Candace K. Oh, excuse me. I learned about them from Candace K. And this, you can have a focus challenge in there. And they usually have fun games and challenges to get you to touch your stitching. This month, it was Uno, where you picked four of your whips. And then you do whatever's on the whatever the uno board spins so everything's been 100 or 200 stitches on pieces um if it's an uno you have to hit touch all four and get 100 stitches on each in 24 hours so one of mine is from the stitching book club and it was little women and this is a picture of it right here um and when i started this month i had to put um 100 stitches in this last night I was only up in here and I hadn't even finished this whole thing. So I got this and I've gotten all this so far in August. So progress is being made. So I'm happy and I'm touching some whips I hadn't. This is on a 16 or 18 count Ada that I dyed. Um, and then one of my other focus pieces is my Jesse Watson. For those that you don't know, this is a um, autism, Jesse Watson Autism Sal is being hosted by by Barbara, the Raspberry Stitcher, and this is it. It's a Hands Across the Sea pattern. And I love Hands Across the Sea, and I have several others that I want to do, but I really want to get caught up on this. And so I've done this and all of these and almost all of this and from here on this border so i should be caught up hopefully by the end of august to where we're supposed to be if not i am stitching on it it's getting done it's making me happy and that's all i can ask for my third one that i'm using in semi-sane stitchers is by tiny modernist and this was a new start and it's this Halloween calendar and I'm loving it. Okay. And so the, since this was a new start, this is all I've done. This is about 300 and so stitches in it. So it's nice. It's taking time. So I have to stitch on my hundred stitches on this today. So I'm probably going to finish this H in Halloween and then I may come down and finish more in here. Or I might just do some more border. Um, if I do this next border for this next box, that's almost 100 stitches. So I might just do that. Um, and then we'll see. For getting the stitches in, it's probably easier just to do the st single color. Especially with the border because you're they're the same. So you're stitching the same thing. So the next thing I stitched on is... I chose to use my Blackbird Designs souvenirs from America. And I've been stitching this every weekend for Blackbird Weekend. And this weekend is, in fact, Blackbird Weekend. So this is where I am. And I took this with me to when my daughter had um, therapy. So I did get more than the called for stitches for the UNO challenge. And this is a 16 count Ada that I dyed myself. So for I, the most recent thing I did is the E and the R. And I wanna touch this again this weekend cause it is Blackbird weekend. So I may go ahead and work on the I in America. Okay, so that was all of my UNO for my semi-sane stitchers. I don't think I touched, no, I didn't touch this at all, so you don't need to see that. That's my, it's in here. Yeah, this is my 
Fright Night style that I will probably go and work on a little bit. And then I'm probably gonna stitch on this later today after I get my 100 stitches in, do a little bit on this. This is a bunch of Hocus Pocus by Pine Mountain. And I'm so excited because I finished the top piece and I am in the H in Halloween. So I'm really excited with how fast this is stitching up. Actually, I will say the house, this took a lot of stitching, but everything else should be pretty easy now since it's just letters and stuff, which is why I didn't use it for um, Uno this month is because it's not, it's not a very big chart so, and this is on, this is on a 16 count. I think this is Shrieky something. I got it from, oh, hold on. It's Shrieky's Tan from Needle Bling Design, 16 count. And I got it from Crazy Annie, see, cause there's the tag in the bag. So I did that. And then, get to that in a second. Oh, here, let me show you my, let me see if I have a picture of this. Yeah, I do. Okay, this is Pumpkin Set Vice and Everything Nice from Cherry Hill Stitchery. And I am thinking about not doing this border because I, I don't really care for it and I don't really, Maybe I will do it, I don't know. We'll see when we get there. But right now, I stitched on this the other night and I've been watching Floss 2, but I've also been watching reruns of CSI, the original CSI, um, because in on October 6th, they're doing a limited series on Paramount Plus. And I really want to, is it, I don't actually, I don't know if it's on Paramount Plus or if it's going to be on regular CBS, but I'm excited. I love CSI. So I've been, this is a great one to do at night because it's on 14 count. So I have to do these leaves and then I have to do the other side and then I have to do everything nice. And I think I'm going to call it a day because this thing is ginormous in my opinion. Okay. Because this was one of the, this right now, this is my oldest whip. And you were supposed to do two over two on 32 count. And this is on 14 count. So it's 108 by 94. So if I had done 16 count, it would have been six and a quarter by five and a half. So this thing is bigger than that. So I think I'm just going to finish um, the other branch and everything nice and call it a day and then finish it because then that way it can go out in my house for the fall this year. And then I didn't work on that one. Let's see what else I know. I didn't work on that. I'm trying to show you things I worked on. I just brought my whole, oh, this is when I, okay, I kitted this up. I got this kit up, kitted it up. This is the Witch Wicked Stitcher Society, I like this. And see, I have my Ada. This, I believe, is an 18 count that I coffee tea dyed. And all my floors is a nice and pretty on floor, on floor strings. And then I have a hoop for it, but nothing's in it. And yes, I leave my things in my hoop. Supposedly that's bad. But when I'm done, I generally bring them into my craft room and I pull out my heat press and I stick them in on the heat press and get all the wrinkles out. So... Then I did have, oh, no, nope, I didn't work on that. Oh, this is probably my July um, patriotic that I'm supposed to finish. And then I did have a new start and I don't know why I started this like this. Okay. And it'll probably, I don't know why I started this. I just wanted to start something with sunflowers on it and I should have come into my room and got a smaller thing, but it, this was sitting there. And so I went and I got it. And what I really should have done, I took out August of calendar crates. I should have 
taken this one out, so there might have been a chance to do it. And then I had an idea, oh, you should just do all the smalls this year. Yeah, that's not what I did though. I pulled this out, okay, there, you can see that without the glare. This is the August calendar crates. I only stitched on this one day, and this is where I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they go to, these sunflowers are going pretty quick. And this is on a 16 or an 18 count. This is something else I had left over for something else and I decided to do it. So I'm not even doing this on 14 count. What am I thinking? I'm like psycho sometimes. And of course I have the finishing piece it's gonna fit on so I should have just went with the 14 count. But I don't really like, you know, I get offended sometimes, excuse me one second. Because I kind of feel like there's no love for Ada stitchers. But then I get a little bit snotty, thinking like I'm better because I do 16, 18, or 20 count. No, I have a hard time. Here's my reason for Ada, just so you, you wanna laugh. You know, my life's a little bit crazy and my I single parent a lot at night because my husband um, is a police officer here in the airport. And it, he's always been in a police officer, but, and I've always single parented. So I like to do things that I can do sitting in a room with my kids because I have to be on top of my son. So it's no better, but I don't want to do the math to count with the 28 or, or linen or anything. Um, and I've been actually using, I got new glasses. Yes, I wear glasses. I usually wear contacts, but my eyes have been on fire the past few days. So after I rode my Peloton today, I said, I don't need to have my contacts in anymore. I'm not going anywhere. I'll just throw my glasses on. So I have them on. And so I've been stitching my glasses and sometimes I'll just, if I'm working up close, I just take my glasses off and I don't use anything. So, there's that. Those are all my whips. Um, I did do some quilting this week, so I'll show you that, but I think I'm going to show you, should we do quilting or should we do haul? I'll do quilting because it's right here and then I will do haul because haul's more than quilting. Okay, so I am doing a couple of uh, block of the months or so quilt along. So my designer mystery two package came after I did the last floss tube or I was doing the start, I was doing something, I don't know. Oh, here it is, it went together beautifully. There's a mistake in it. This section and this section are reversed. These triangles are supposed to be in the middle here. Well, my block is beautiful. It measures perfectly. So this is where you take your artistic license and you say, looks good to me, it's done. And I do love it, so it's okay. And then, um, I didn't show you the last week. I'm also doing Pat Sloan's Summer Soiree and I had showed you weeks one and two. So I'm gonna show you weeks three and four. I have to do week five still. So this is week three. And this is Bonnie and Camille fabric. I believe this is Sunday Stroll. Okay, so there's this. And my hair is blowing in my face, in my mouth, it's gross. So that's block three. And this is block four. I am in love with this. It's just, it makes me happy. And then I do have a flimsy finished. My daughter had picked out fabric for uh, quilt and I need to get backing fabric, but I'm going to get up and show this. So I'm going to wind up, it's not going to be done when she goes to school, but it's going to be finished. She chose all these fabrics and it's done. It just needs to be quilted. It's actually hanging out on my long arm. So as soon as I get fabric for that, it's going to be quilted. Um, then, you know, I suffer sometimes from FOMO, fear of missing out. 
And that corner shop is doing a bats and booze quilt along. Now, I have plenty of fabric here that I bought to do Halloween quilts and Halloween stuff and fall stuff. Why am I, do I want to do a bats and booze quilt? No. Kiara, you don't do good on mysteries to anything. So stop it. <laughs> I really, I don't do, it just lag, <laughs> languishes. So then I was watching Floss Tube and I watch a lot of quilting stuff also on um, YouTube. And Sherry McConnell had a video about um, table runners, but I'll get into that in plans because that, that, that's stuff I want to work on in the future. So we did quilt. Okay, so let's go into haul. I have several people to blame for some of my haul. You know, I sit should not sit watching floss tube with um, a pen and paper. This first thing though is my Bestitch Me Fabric of the Month. Warning, trigger alert, if you don't wanna see. But I think other people have shown this already. So this is the July and I get an 18 count Ada and this is it. Can you see that? It's really pretty. It's a, this one's a neutral. And I really like this. And I, I since I'm drawn to so many um I had my basket out for my fabric. That's what I was looking for. Um Okay, so there was that. And then what's this? Oh, I have more haul, but I'm not going to get it. I'll show it the next time. And most of it's quilting haul, so. I ordered some stuff from Fat Quarter Shop. I don't know why I ordered. Oh, I know why I ordered from Flat Fat Quarter Shop. Because I was aggravated with a couple other stores I ordered from. So. I ordered this. You've all seen this. This is Jack-O-Lantern Jubilee by Brenda Gervais. Um, there's a couple really cute smalls here and I really do want to get a dough bowl. I just haven't found one that I like, but these patterns are adorable. I mean, just seriously. Here, I'll show you this one, like this. I love this. And then... I just I love this. I didn't realize there was so much so many cute things in this. Oh, there's a recipe in here. Um, okay. And then I really want to do this one. This is from Stitching with the Housewives. I love these truck things. And there's this one. I think I'm gonna do this. I may put some other stuff away and do this. I love this. I really want to do some fall stuff. Oh, I got this. I got a couple Blackbird designs because I'm discovering I really do love their stuff. And I'm of the thing to make it my own because I think I want to do this on purple. It just makes me happy. Because I'm of the thing where I'm gonna start stitching what makes me super happy. And this, I'm gonna do this on a color like a bright orange or something or bright purple green yeah i got the cutest piece of ray done coming and then i've only ever done liz matthews freebies and they're great patterns and i see this one and this one just speaks to my heart this and if you do this on an 18 or 20 count it's really kind of small but i love this And honestly, I want to do this for my husband because he's my best friend. So there's those. That's what I got from there. Oh, but oh, wait, there's more. And then I found this in one of my baskets and I never showed this. And I love this. This hem is another one that I love.
Oh, then I was on Etsy doing something. I don't know what I was doing. But I ordered this from, let me get the name of the store, Sophia Violet Designs. And because I have so much Halloween stuff, I wanted to get this thread key. Is that not the cutest? So there's that. Okay. And then I ordered from Annabella's. And let's see what, well, let's see what's in here. I have a couple of these needle art by Wendy's. This is the Grateful Quaker. I have a Patriotic Quaker. I really need to stop ordering for a while and start doing some of these. I probably have enough stuff here to... Um, oh, and this is an Instagram I must buy. And this looks, this is a beautiful chart. I've never done this um, designer before. But this is gonna be a super quick stitch and this will go great with my B display. And this is Be Happy from Primrose Cottage Stitchers. I should actually look, I probably have all this floss here somewhere. So I'm gonna look. And if I stitch this on 14 count, it's two and three fourths by five and an eighth, but an 18 count is two by four. So it's really cute small no matter what size you do it on. Okay, let me get some of this trash out of my way. And then, oh, okay. I'm gonna do this one last. I had a little bit of other haul. I went to Hobby Lobby this week and I bought these and I thought these were great for, they're part of the fall 2021 things, but great little quick, um, they're $5.99, uh, full was 40% off, so re very reasonable. Um, the number on this, if you were looking, is HL9174656. So I actually might even go pick a couple more of these up. If I don't pick up this one, I'm going to pick up this one because I got it in white. And this just really, they're adorable. So this number is HL9174656. So really love it. And then I got a Jolly Bar from Fat Quarter Shop. I got the Christmas Morning Jolly Bar from Layla Boutique. And then this, I don't know who I should blame for this. Candace K or... Crystal Rowe or Mary Ashcraft, but they had all said that, and I know that um, Sarah Stitches uses their floss. This is Victorian Motto. So I went on Etsy and I ordered. Well, two things. I ordered, this is, yeah, let me, I wanna take these out because this is Victorian Christmas. I mean, look at these. This is Victorian green, Victorian red. Now I might use this for Santa's coat on, on my um, prairie schoolers, that's cute. Victorian gold, Victorian ornament, uh, Victorian cranberry. Victorian Christmas and Holly and Ivy. These are gorgeous, absolutely stunning. So those were those. I just wanna put these away because and my stuff came in under a week. And then I got this one. This is limited editions. And I think these were all like patriotic Oh, let's see. Let's see what these are. This is limited editions for July. There are 12 skeins. Oh, and each of these skeins is 20 yards each. So I don't know how much. My whole order, I think, was like $80. Because I did get two patterns. I'll show you those. 
vivid pink, shades of golden yellow. These are beautiful. Perky lime. Oh, look at the variegation there. Evening shadows. Golden butter. These would be great um, for the stitching with the housewives um, sunflowers. Um, this one's pretty. Grand Canyon. Haunted Gray. Mystic Pink. Golden Russet. Country Fens. I thought it said French. Um, Summer Sun and buttermilk these are so pretty so who, whoever i'm supposed to blame thank you um these these are beautiful and i had never heard of i had heard of the rumblings of the problems but i hadn't but everybody loved the floss so then eh, get in there okay so there's that Oh, and then I ordered two um, patterns. Um, she had these Daughters of the American Revolution um, cross-stitch sat ampler. And so this one just says the Daughters of the American Revolution. And then this one, the, the motto of the American, the DAR is God, home, and country. So this one says God, home, and country. I'm not sure I would do them in these colors, but I love these so they're gonna be going in my pattern bin i have no idea when i'm gonna start them but i am happy to do them eventually okay next let's talk the giveaways i had but let me go get them so everybody remembers what we had My daughter went and got me a matcha. Okay, so. My dislike is somebody's gain because this is um, three packages of vintage cloth, 10 count, Lori Holt. Um, and the keyword for this was vintage and this is going to Carol Wick. Carol, I think I have your address, but just message me because we're Facebook friends. And I'm going to pop up everybody's name on this because I'm trying to learn how to insert pictures. And then I had, what is this thing? My favorite color is Moda Panel because I have two. And this is going to Michelle, Michelle, I'm going to butcher your name just like I did the last time. Michelle D. Bard. Delabon. So um, this is going to go to you. Guys, give me a few days because I probably will not get to the post office till Thursday or Friday at the very earliest. And then the last um, give giveaway from last week was bringing home the Christmas tree and the floss. You're going to need the red, but there's probably enough here to do almost everything. You might need to get some more greens. So this one goes to Patty Miller. So thanks everybody for taking part in that. So let's talk plans, plans. I have several things I wanna work on. I have a few quilt blocks. Um, last week, not yesterday, but the week before, Kimberly Jolly showed um, a sampler quilt. trying to see. I thought I had these all. Hmm. I don't know. I have them all somewhere. But I was just looking. For, oh wait, maybe it's three. Just wanted to see if I have a picture of the whole. Oh, here. I'll show you here. And I'll link this down below, but um, 
back in 2018, they had done this sampler quilt from the Perfect 10 book. Um, and this is it. So, um, I, so I love sampler quilts. I do not like quilts where I have to make, a, for the most part, I don't like quilts where I have to make 20 of something. I get very bored. I have a horrible time trying to decide what fabric goes into each block. So sampler quilts to me are phenomenal. Okay, so she showed this and then somebody had made the suggestion to her that she show these with, and then provide recommendations for current fabrics because some of the fabrics are no longer to be found. Well, she showed that and I was like, I have the perfect 10 book and ruler. I bought it when it was on sale somewhere. So this is the book, perfect 10. And I have, oh, I had a layer cake and it didn't require that much background. Well, it did require a lot of background, but you could make it from one la 31 layer cake squares. Um, so I was like, okay. I mean, they did say that Kimberly used um, two, so she would have more. So I was like, hmm, I have this Harper's Garden from Sherry McConnell and Chelsea Stratton that I've been dying to use. Um, so I said, let me order a background. Now, I didn't realize it was Harper's Garden. I picked another background from one of their other lines, but the great thing about Sherry and Chelsea's fabrics is that they all coordinate that's what I like about Cory Yoder. That's what I like about Joanna Figueroa. All their fabrics coordinate so you can cross lines with them and still have it. So I was like, okay. So the other haul I have is the rest of the fabric to do this. Well, I was like, so on this one, they have um, a breakdown of how Kimberly did her blocks. So I was like, my kids are going back to school. I do really well on projects where I'm only doing one of something a week. So I was like, I'm gonna make my own schedule for this and start it. So what I'm gonna say is if anybody wants to start doing the perfect 10 sampler quilt with me, I'd love to have you join me. Um, so I have this, I'm gonna probably start it towards the end of August because my kids are going back to school. I'm hosting Bunko. So I have to get my house clean. My house is clean, but I have to like company standards. Um, especially since these people are new friends to mine, I wanna make a good impression. And my husband and I are not big entertainers ever. So for us to open up our home is kind of funny, but I love living here and I love, um, and this is the Perfect 10 ruler. I ordered the book and the ruler and it was really cheap. So if anybody wants to join me in that, I would love to have you join me. I'd love to have company. Um, and then the other thing I'm doing this week is quilting wise, besides my um, summer soiree block, I am going to, excuse me, the pattern fell. The other day, Sherry McConnell posted on YouTube, about table runners a simple table runner. well i have to do a table runner um i have a big cabinet in my entryway and i had my patriotic um table topper from pat sloan well i am doing this from sherry mcconnell it's called the simple table runner and it's on her blog i'll link it below and this is it I just, I think I have to do more blocks than she does because I think my piece is bigger. So I scavenged in one of my sew sampler boxes. It was actually the November, 2020 box that had this from Layla Boutique in it. Um, and I'm using that, what's this, folk tale, folklore, something like that. So I'm gonna use this. I just have to find a piece of backing and batting in my stash. I have. I believe I have a piece of, um, but not batting, binding in my stash. I think I have a piece of batting I can use. So, well, I have a big roll, so it's not that, but I think I have a piece of loose. But, and I think I'm just gonna quilt it on my Juki because it takes longer for me to load it. Uh, a table run, it takes me longer to load onto the long arm than it takes me to quilt it. So it doesn't pay. 
So those are what I'm gonna work on. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on my daily um, Uno from Semi-Sane Stitchers because I really am seeing progress and I'm liking that I'm limited to the number of pieces I'm touching. I have to figure out a schedule of stitching. I like um, the challenges of semi-stained stitches. I'm not cutthroat, so this, this one's a very low key one. So I'm okay with it. And especially since I'm only counting 100 to 200 stitches, it really makes me rather happy because the progress I'm seeing is so noticeable after that. So that's cool. Um, I have a lot of things I want to start, but I'm scared to start anything right now. I want to finish some stuff and I want to, once my kids are back in school, I'm going to work on fully finishing a couple things. Um, next thing. I've been watching a lot of floss too, but there are a couple under 1000 sub clubs, but I want to give a shout out to Crystal Rowe because she's at like 950 or 960 subscribers on her channel. So if you're not watching her, please watch her, give her a like, um, let's get her to a thousand. That would be great. Um, I love catching up with you guys on social too. I think that's great. I haven't been that active on, in the only thing I've been actually posting on Instagram lately is stitching or my quilting just cause I'm, I got a lot of negativity with certain branches of my family and I just don't want to deal. So that's really where it comes from. Um, I do have below a happy mail form and if you fill it out, I will be going through probably next week um, and sending a couple people some things. Um, and my giveaways are gonna be a little bit less this week because I decided at the last minute to throw together a uh, floss tube and I actually think I'm gonna have to start filming these a little bit earlier in the day because this afternoon sun right now is killing me so first things first I probably should have done one of these last week but this one I'm gonna do this week I'm gonna give away three skeins of week Dye Works and the keyword for this is floss please be 18 please don't say giveaway um, the, like I said, it's floss is the keyword. This is for Scuppermong Mocha. Oh, this one makes me think of my best friend. She's got a puppy named Mocha. And then this Aqua. Look at this variegation in this Aqua. That's beautiful. And then the next thing I'm giving away, and I did it, I canceled my stitch quarterly because I've never stitched one of these. I'm gonna show you something. This is last Christmas's um, thing. Here's the bag. You're going to get the bag. You're going to get the floss. You're going to get this little metal box. You're going to get the Ada. You're going to get it all. This is everything. I've never done it. I think the only thing not in here uh, four, are the floss drops. I think I took those because I was doing something and I needed them but you are getting everything else that came in here. So, and for this, you're gonna say Santa. So again, thank you for spending some time with me. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I'm gonna to attempt to get this all edited. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. If I didn't go in, if I talk too fast, I know I'm from New York. Um, hope you didn't mind my all over the place. I'm not a very organized person. So me even bringing the stuff in the room to get done is, is a feat for me. Um, so, hey, if you guys have any floss tubers you watch, post them below. I, I need to expand a little bit more. I mean, I did finally watch I had never watched her before and now I've watched two episodes of hers, Stitching in the Land of Good Enough. I like her. Um, I have to go finish watching Sherry the Colorado Cross Stitcher's Floss Tube. It just broke my heart that somebody was mean to her because how can you be mean to her? She's so sweet. She's such a nice person. Um, if you notice, I didn't do my August Cross Stitch Camp because I haven't touched it. 
but I'm not sure I'm going to. I bought a Liz Matthews pattern and I really want to do it, but it's not calling to me. So I've reached the stage where I want things to call to me and bring me joy. If it's not at that point bringing me joy, it's not the point to start it. So I'm rambling, so I'm gonna go. Have a great day, talk to you all later, bye.